Hello everybody, Waspus here, here for a new series that we are going to be starting today. And that series is a ocean series. Not really sure what to call it. I'll figure that out when I upload the video. But today's episode we're going to do on puffer fish and some of their cool facts and little things like that just to learn a little bit about the ocean and so on. So pufferfish are a small fish with spikes that can inflate themselves with water like a balloon. And due to this, sharks and most other fish know not to attack them. And even if they did, they would only do it once. Some scenarios is that a shark will attack a pufferfish and the pufferfish will get caught or will inflate inside the shark, shark's esophagus or throat, therefore causing it to die. Although, unfortunately, it's a both dying scenario. Now, another cool fact about pufferfish is that they will draw designs in the sand. For example, this circle. And I was really hoping this would be added, but Minecraft should make it to where pufferfish can draw, like, zombie faces and creeper faces into the sand. Because now with the new ocean update, there are pufferfish actually swimming around, and that would be really sweet. And I will be mentioning this to them, because that sounds like a really cool idea. Bonus fact, water can form underwater. This isn't actually two layers of water, it is just the differentiations between, say, underwater volcanoes and cold climates, creates almost like a mist that looks like there is secondary, that, well, that makes it look like there's an ocean in an ocean. Now, we are going to build our pufferfish. The base of the pufferfish starts with one of these little camera pieces, and then you need a 1x2, any color, whichever color you want. You'll need six of these cheesy slopes, and just stick them on. You can make any kind of pattern you wish, but stick them onto the sides of the camera make your just patterns, I guess. <laughs> Stick them on the sides and the top. And there is all your spikes for your puffer fish. You will need a little colored transparent stud for the eye or eyes or the head. And you need a jumper plate. Hold on. There we go. You would need a jumper plate. And to put it in an environment, just take a little gra glass brick. And there you go. You got your nice, awesome puffer fish. But if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, and down in the comment section, say what you would like to see for our next creature update. And next week, on next Saturday, I will post another video. And, but my idea for the next creature is going to be on the box jellyfish. I know I'm using a circle, but I didn't have any transparent boxes. That looked good anyway. <laughs> but yeah. But as I said, if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like. Don't forget to share it around with your friends and so on. And I hope you enjoyed. Bye.